Good day, good day. How the hunk are ya? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano. Yeah, Roverland, the channel that's all about anything and everything Land Rover. What we're gonna look at today is speed wheels. Oh yeah. Opened up another can of worms here, I tell ya. <laughs> all right. We're gonna find out, and it was kind of hard to find out on this one. Luckily, I had a loose one. Uh, actually, I got another one. We're gonna take a look at that one later. But here we have a loose one of this Speed Wheels. And uh, I don't know if you, if you believe me or not, but there you go, they're practically the same. Just one is in the package and one is not. There you go. All right, well, let's take a look at this. What is Speed Wheels? Have you ever heard of these? They're rugged die cast models, fast. Collect each series. See the back panel. So this is Series X, and come to find out, and we're gonna <laughs> jump back here. <laughs> if you were to look at the bottom of one of these, you would see it has Welly on it. Well, wouldn't you know, there it is, a F Land Rover Freelander, uh, number uh, 200, Land Rover 200 there. Uh, yeah, made in China. So, it's a Welly, but it's a Speed Wheels. Well, let's talk about that. Mid-80s, Speed Wheels came around thanks to Walgreens. Now, Welly is a Hong Kong-based company that manufactures die casts and scale models, all right? Started in 1980s and uh, mainland China. They have over 30 years of experience. Now, listen to this. Welly does 118, 124, 132nd, 138th, 143rd, 160th and 187th scales, all right? Trucks, cars, bicycles, motorcycles, etc. Also, they also do an RC 132, 132nd scale uh, die cast RCs and trucks and cars. Um, but uh, their larger scales, the 124 scales, are um, plastic RC models. But anyway, we're going to take a look at this one here. Um, now, I did find some information about Welly. Uh, all lowercase, WellyDieCast.com, okay? And um, they export all over the world. I mean, I mean, if you don't have an export, it's, the list is shorter where they don't export to where they do, okay? We're just going to leave it at that. So in the 80s, Midwest, or I'm sorry, East West uh, Distributing Company out of Deerfield, Illinois, that's just south of me in, uh, well, right there, just south of me in Deerfield, Illinois, Deerfield, Illinois um, started this up, Speed Wheels, and marketed it in, in Walgreens Pharmacies. So, uh, also, uh, Elmar, E-L-M-A-R Distributing, uh, which was another Welly brand or whatever, but they did like a Anglo Tiny Mites also. But uh, in the 80s, um, the Speed Wheels appeared in the U.S. and had uh, Welly on the bottom, and then sometimes they did. They were kind of inconsistent there. So there you go. But most lately, uh, most of the, the lasting... Uh, uh, most of the castings, let's, I can't even read my own handwriting, but most of the castings were previously issued by, take a guess, take a guess, Tomica. So there you go, very detailed little uh, cars. I really like them. Uh, let's just take another look at the packaging real quick. I, I, so, but look at this. 69 cents each, two for a dollar at Walgreens. Can't beat that, can you? Um, now, these all, I, I bought all these on eBay. Uh, I 
I didn't have a Walgreens next to me when I was growing up, so in the 80s, so uh, I, I didn't buy any of these uh, out in the wild. Now, I'm going to tell you, I got most of my information, uh, lowercase hobbytalk.com. So you go over there and check them out. This, I think, is the, one of the last ones that I got. Um, they kind of call for uh, a good price. Uh, I think, you know, 5 $7 on up. Now, if I'm buying them, I'm usually getting them a little bit cheaper than, you know, on the lower end. I don't like to pay a lot. But... Um, yeah, they kind of hold up their price. Now, this one's quite yellowed, so I think that's why I got a good price on that one. But, uh, yeah, just a whole bunch of cars there, and it's kind of hard um, with that camera angle, but you can see that the Freelander is the first one on the top left there, but just a whole bunch of welly cars. Now, I do have a welly that I picked up at some junk shop or something like that uh, that's... Uh, pretty neat model not a not a Land Rover it's just something that I, I pick up off-brand stuff with different models and stuff so people you know you know if they like that particular model or or whatever they have that brand but very nicely detailed let's kind of go around the car but uh you know and you can kind of tell that you know that you can see some of the Tomica in the heritage here it's got the uh, Land Rover on the uh, hood and uh, we're trying to get a good focus focus here on uh so we can really take a look at this car lens details which is always kind of really nice different color plastic front fascia there uh no detailing on that grill or anything but it's got the the land rover on the hood molded wipers no coloring there um but let's move around to the side nice little wheels uh not plastic they're they're hard plastic but uh, the axles seem to be a little loose in these, but they, they do roll pretty nicely though. But you see we have a side marker here right on the front fender. Also a nicely detailed little Land Rover badge right on the, on the door pillar there, the, the B pillar there. Very, very nice. Now you can see inside the interior, the steering wheel has got some detail. It's not just one solid piece of plastic there. That's pretty nice. Little stick shift sticking out. Nice uh, light, light tan interior. We move around to the back. Very nice. It's got the uh, removable uh, hard top on the top there. The, the back three quarter top. I don't know what you'd really call that, but it's removable top. Seating in the back as well. And then uh, no details on the back. Uh, it does have a hard cover. Uh, rear spare tire there so really kind of a, a nicely detailed really doesn't have much um, you know details on the bottom but it does have the exhaust system there and a drivetrain and uh, there you go well look at there those are held together by uh, screws so guess what we've got a treat for you today yeah we're gonna do something odd you've seen them in the package folks and uh that's cool you've seen them loose that's cool but today we're gonna take one apart yeah i got this one here i'm i'm not really sure where i got this one at but he's all scuffed up and uh pretty ratty so for a treat for you today because you stick along with me and everything now this one's missing the rear rear uh spare tire so another reason we're just going to take this apart and see exactly how these are made how's that for a treat today huh you don't get that on every channel do you well maybe you do i don't know <laughs> but anyway we're going to take this bugger apart and see what we got inside you see how see how it ticks that's always fun right all right get that bugger off of there all right, here we go. If you're squeamish of heart, uh, yeah, just look away, okay? Don't don't look. All right, it's stuck. All right, here we go. All righty. So right away, pretty cool. So this is the chassis here. Now, interestingly enough, there is a channel. Oh yeah, I see. 
there's that suspension piece there that kind of holds it all together. Is that correct? Am I, am I correct in assuming that? Yep, there it is. So a little suspension piece up under here that holds that front axle in place. And then also on the back there too. Oh, can I get it in frame? Hello, maybe you'd like to join me and see what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. So yeah, kind of a uh, like the uh, Matchbox series there that's got a long suspension piece for the suspension. Now there are two different uh, pieces here for the eyebrows that uh, fit over there. Oops, I think I got that backwards. No, that was right. I don't know, I just took this apart. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Now the front, the front one is, is not held in place. The back one you can see that, which is the uh, eyebrows and the lower part of the rear, rear bumper, that is um, heat riveted, if you wanna say, heat mushroomed in. So that's part of the chassis there. So real, real cool there. All right, well, let's see if we can kind of put this back together as we take it apart. All right, we'll put that down. Now we get into uh, more parts and pieces. Let's see what, oh, I guess we're gonna look at the interior that came apart. Now this one uh, looks a little bit more tan, uh, gray than the other one. I don't know, which one were we looking at? It kind of looked tan, maybe that was just the lighting. But this is uh, more of a gray, um, gray colored. Yeah, there it is. There it is, Lee. <laughs> right hooker there on that one. Really nice, look at the seat, oh, those seats look so comfortable. Little four seater, there you go. But very, very nice, very nice. Very nice. So that's just, uh, that doesn't really do much. It doesn't hold any suspension or anything like that around. Oh, here comes the glass already. And uh, just kind of see how that looked as it fit in there. So covered the back and the front. All right, oh, that wasn't the uh, front lenses was were, were not connected to that. Oh, and here comes the front end. All right, so there's the front grill and everything. And uh, let's turn that around and kind of see how the lights were attached, yeah. So they were a whole nother separate piece that's melt riveted onto the front bumper piece. So that's kind of cool. It just kind of fits right there on the front of the die, die cast body there. So yeah, that's a good post. We could, uh, we could uh, reuse that, yeah. Oh, so. I was wondering, and I didn't want to pry too much on that rear convertible part, and it's a good thing because those are uh, melt riveted in place. That does not clip off. It's apparent that this, uh, these here are holes. There's holes drilled in these tabs, and the piece comes through, and they just mushroom them over. So, yeah, it's a good thing I didn't like try to pry that apart. So going to take that apart we're going to have to uh, cut those off maybe with a hot knife but you can see this thing has got some rough use and stuff like that so uh, like I say eventually uh, on the channel we're going to be getting into uh, refurbishing and, and things like that but got some things to take care of and <laughs> before we get there but anyway we got to get through um, the collection, right? All right, let's see if we can put this bad boy back together. See if that, uh, see if I can keep it in frame. Such a little bugger. Yeah, this is uh, probably um, 1 60th or uh, no, 7, no, what was it, 64th scale? Maybe, I don't, you know, I don't know exactly what scale that would be. Let's put the glass back in here and head, head first. Nope back in first kind of slips over there see how it fits over the uh, little post for the rivets there front end we got the front end of the front end there we go get that clipped in there well it just kind of sets in there there's no clipping there's no clipping now here's the fun part trying to get that bad boy in there let's see if we can get this uh, the uh, front fenders on there there you go yeah that'll work 
Oh yeah, that's right. The wheels, they ain't going to go anywhere because they have that uh, suspension bar that holds them right in place. So then we can just get that and put that bugger right back on top there. See how we doing? Are we lined up here? Are we sandwiched in there? Not too bad, not too bad. Wheels are still rolling. There we go. Oh, something going on with the roof. Way to go. Something going on with the roof. With the, oh, with the uh, glass. Glass slid on us. Hold on. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. <laughs> Parts are falling all over the place. Now, what, what happened here? Oh, I think we got uh, we to get that. Oh, there's a little tab there. We got to make sure that windshield is in in place there to hold that there. Okay, so that's in there. We got that. Okay, stick in there, all right? All right, here we go. <laughs> this is this is torture. <laughs> this is like torture. All right. Got that bugger in there. That that goes just like that. All right. Now where's that base again? Oh, we got to get the uh, interior in there. Hold on. Got to get the interior in there. Now the interior stuck to the base. Never mind. All right. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, we're going to be doing more, obviously, to come. And uh, just a lot of great fun. So make sure that you uh, give me a big old thumbs up down there in the comments. Uh, have you got many wellies yourself? Uh, they're, they're, like I say, they uh, are out there. Uh, they do do a... a a lot of different scales. I do have more wellies that uh, we will be looking at, but they're uh, branded wellies. Uh, so anyway, or wells, welly. So they're branded wellies. So we'll be looking at uh, some more of those later. But this is just uh, one little uh, oh off branch of welly that they did. Speed wheels. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then I come to find out I had loose ones and and uh, and a couple of carded ones. So there you go. That's the deal of the day. 69 cents each or two for a buck or a clam or a stone, wherever you come from. <laughs> All right there, folks. We're going to call it a video. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for sticking around as we dissected one and put it back together. Make sure you're going to go down there and give me a big thumbs up. Go over to Facebook, too. Grab a big old membership over at Roverland on Facebook. Otherwise, hey, guys, have a great Rover day. And slow traffic, keep right. <laughs>